it's a great day. Today is planning day. It is May 7th. So everything's finally warm enough that I think we can go ahead and plant this power plant. Um, my dad went ahead and got everything tilled up. We got probably an acre and a quarter, somewhere around that range that we're going to be planting. Um, so I've got two bags because we're going to be disc, just disking, which is already done, and then we're going to broadcast these. So I'm excited to see how that works. Uh, anybody that doesn't know exactly what's in the power plant, you have Hutchison soybeans, that's 58%. Iron and clay cow peas, 22%. Sunflower, that's 11%. And sun hemp, that's 9%. So that's your variety that uh, you have in this mix. And the main thing is that you wanted to make sure the soil temperature reaches 65 degrees. Um, it says for both day and night, we're right around that range. We're about to get a good rain here tonight and then over the next three days. So that's why I'm trying to get everything in the ground. And I already see all the farmers around here planting and everything. So I figured why not let me go ahead and join. So. I'm going to go ahead and get out there and uh, I've got a piece of fence that I'm going to try to use as a drag because I'm too cheap to buy myself a drag, um, a harrow, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and try that fence out. I'm going to broadcast this and then go back over and uh, drag and try to incorporate that into the, into the seed bed and we'll see how that goes. Stick with me, I'll catch you out in the food plot. Alright, so as you can see behind me, Got this nicely tilled up food plot. Shout out to my dad for uh, going ahead and doing that. So I'm gonna go out and broadcast both bags. Uh, this should be pretty good. They say that uh, both bags would be anywhere from, I don't know, an acre and a half to two acres. So I'm definitely gonna go on the higher side and hope that some of the seed doesn't get eaten up by turkeys or by the crows because I'll, I'll put a trail camera out here and they're always going to be out here. So that's also why I'm going to try to cover up the seed. So I've just got this standard chopping, chapping, whatever you want to call it, uh, bag, uh, seed spreader. They seem to work pretty well if you don't put fertilizer and lime in. If you put fertilizer and lime in them, it eats them up pretty bad. Bag. Okay. a handful there's your uh, <clears throat> there's your beans there's your uh, sunflowers what else we got up in there it looks like the sunflowers are actually kind of pretty pretty heavy in the mix that's all right though so I'll go ahead and pour this in there That joker is full. All right, also, I ended up having to switch it. I don't know if you can see how much seed is coming out of it, but I originally had it set on four, and that was just a little bit too tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it on five and see where that gets me. It looks like it's spreading a lot, a lot better. And I'm just gonna pretty much walk around the outside. And this thing flings it out pretty good, so I'm gonna walk around the outside. Once I make it all the way back around, I'll swing back out, or inside I should say, and do another row. All right, so that's two acres worth spread out now I need to go over top of it with that uh, makeshift drag that I have out of that chain link fence. We'll see how that works. Hopefully it covers it up pretty well. This is going to be the first time I've ever used it, but I think it'll end up working pretty well. This stuff's pretty powdery. Alright, so this is what I'm using. 
This is just an old fence that I had at my house. I needed to get it taken down anyways. So I figured I'd go ahead and just tear it off. And it's probably 10 feet wide, so hopefully this will do the job pretty well. I just don't want to buy a drag being cheap. I'd rather spend the money on the uh, I'd rather spend the money on the food plot seed than I would on the, some of the equipment. All right, we're gonna try her out, I guess. Pray that this works. too bad. Drag her around a couple times. All right, well that's that. You can see behind me, everything's all dissed up. I already ran over it right here. It held up pretty well. Um, I ended up having to move those out a little bit further because they kept pulling in, but for what it is, it worked. So let me show y'all kind of a good example of how the, the fence helped. If I can find some. All right. So if you look over in this section, so here's a seed, there's a bean right here. You see, really needs to be like that, but then you probably can't see that there's one right here. It's down in there. Push that one down in. So it just kind of helped pull some of that dirt over top of these beans. Like right here. Just to try to protect them a little bit more. And then I'm hoping with that rain that's coming in, it's actually getting, starting to get a little dark. I'm hoping that that helps drive some of the seed into this. Uh, nicely tilled soil a little better. This is going to be trial and error. Basically how all my food plots are. The success rate is starting to get a lot better. But I'll come out here and I'll hopefully sh be able to show you all some positive results. Like I said, all I did was spray. Wait about two weeks. We tilled it. Um, and you can see the results, how well we tilled it. And then I came back in, spread the seed, and then you, you could take a drag, or even like I have right there, you could take a old chain link fence, and then go ahead and use that, and drag this again, try to cover up some of that seed, and then I'm planting right before rain. And I know sometimes people can't really time it out like that. Um, I may be planting just slightly early, but, we're going to go ahead and get a good rain, and I can see throughout this week we're going to get some pretty solid rain. So I'm trying to take advantage of this. Just look for that type of week where you know you have some, some rain planned, even if it doesn't rain tonight. Enough of this seed should get rain by tomorrow or the following day, even if we get missed. So that's what I look for. A few consecutive days of rain goes a long way. Hope you all enjoyed watching. I'll, like I said, I'll have updates. I'll come out here every so often. Two weeks. Every two weeks, week, a month. I don't know yet. Um, depends on how long it takes to see these things start growing. But you can follow me on Instagram at Gus, And got to get going.